Hello YouTubers, how are you guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to change into your Samsung Smart 4K TV. It's the edition, this is the end of uh, 2070 production. Until 2020 you will find these TVs. Uh, today we're gonna change the mainboard of this Samsung 4K TV. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. We're gonna uh, assemble it and we're gonna change the mainboard because all this uh, HDMI's Inputs are not working anymore, including the TV receiver. So if you have problems with the uh, power source of your home or your provider doesn't uh, put some protective components to prevent the overloading of uh, the current in your house, well, uh, this TV is, well, you have problems with your TV because will burn the power source overload of the current will burn the entire mainboard inside so let's change it now this tv i'm presenting um has only working the youtube the, all the applications and uh, the digital input and the analog inputs it's bad because are not working the inputs are not working not not one of it so changing the internal mainboard we're gonna fix this problem so let's begin the disassembly of the TV is pretty simple. You have screws on the sides and here, three screws. Just unscrew it and the back panel will get loose pretty easy. Now guys, this is the TV. It's pretty simple. This model of uh, Samsung TVs are very simple. This is the main board and uh, the board that is uh, not working anymore. Uh, the operation is pretty simple to change it. Be careful to put the screen under a soft material not to damage it and to scratch it. So I have bought another uh, motherboard and it has this code guys. Let me show you here. And basically in the back it will tell you your model. So this is your model, this is what you want to uh, find for your TV. If your model does not appear here, do not buy it. Uh, there are uh, many mainboards like this. Be careful and search for the correct model. You will find it in the back of your TV, in the back plate we just uh, released from the TV. In the back cover, plastic cover, you will find the model. So first disconnect all these small connectors be careful that they have some kind of safety be careful and lift lift this safety when you do this operation and to remove the entire main board now it's very very simple operation to push in that direction and you will take it out it's very simple child play so if we are looking side by side they are identical except the black uh, painted one that it's uh, broken but the connectors are the same uh, this is also uh, a thing the connectors must be exactly the same otherwise it's not your mainboard so let's see guys I can't believe how uh, how easy it is and uh, how uh, Samsung made this uh, this mainboard so simplified than uh, comparing with the, the wall TVs that had a lot of electronics. Now before connecting all these wires, if you have a blower, you can blow the dust to make sure the connectors and the connection is good in all the wires. And let's connect. I'm concerned and I want to connect good. This one, it has a plastic to push it. And it's so simple. Like I told you, child's play, but be careful here to take your time for these connectors because are sensitive. Now 
Now guys, before putting the back panel, the plastic panel, do a check. Do a check, put the TV to a power source. Be careful not to touch anything here. If the TV works, then you are good to go. It means that you did a good job. So it's best to uh, do a test because maybe you didn't uh, put a connector, you didn't insert it uh, quite good. And uh, if the TV is open, why to work twice if you can um, view what you've done and uh, if it's good. So now let's reconnect the remote control. If you see it's trying to reconnect the remote. And we have image, this is good. <laughs> this is the first thing. You got to have image. And now in TV, we must find channels and search for the channels. And it must, uh, the auto tuning is working. Before, the auto tuning was not working. And uh, this is an interesting thing. I have a wake up timer that I didn't have before. This is a UK main board, I got to say. Let's start and search. I hope it will work the channels, digital and analog. I think uh, it will not have a problem, but you got to set your TV first. You got to say to your TV what is uh, the country. And at, at start, you have a start setup and uh, you got to say to your TV. So now let's transfer the channel list. I have the channel list on the USB. Import from USB, I don't want to search uh, invalid country information. This is what I'm talking about. You got to tell him what is your country and then you can import from USB. If you don't do this, it will not work. I think there is somewhere here. I think you cannot do this without uh, auto tuning. Um, I think I got to do a reset of the TV. You got to reset your TV and then set it up um, and we have a star set up there you can tell your TV what is your country it will memorize some uh, and now we're gonna reset it next yeah you see United Kingdom and Ireland this is a problem I knew that is a uh, UK TV some I knew that it was a UK TV if it will work it will be a success I don't want to sign in, just to find the, the channels. I recommend you if you can find a main board from your, the rest of the Europe, for example. If you don't find the main board, I think it's good. We have 23 channels already. It will work. This is the basic idea. But the only problem is that I have the channels memorized on the USB and I cannot import it but because I have only two options, uh, UK or Ireland. This is a pity, but it's not a problem though. And this is the main idea, I had to buy another TV, but this is a cheap fix I got to say. If you want a new main board from the dealer, you can call Samsung Service Center, it's uh, almost $200 or 880 euros and uh, it's not it's not good the price is very high it's best you you will put another 100 euro and you will buy the entire tv so a tip to you guys search on aliexpress or on ebay uh, if you find a good price to the main board uh, maybe there the sellers there uh, will sell the main boards to the broken screen tvs and the main board will be good you know and if the main board is good you you'll find it at a good price buy it and you'll fix your tv in uh, in minutes why not it's not a rocket science this is not you, you don't have to be an electrician to do this i think this is very simple watch these steps guys and uh, take your time do not rush yourself in these operations because uh, our sensitive goods sensitive electronics inside are just connections and this is uh, basically how you're gonna do it i hope i will save you a lot of money for uh, this operation i hope your tv will work again we have a lot of tutorials for these TVs, guys. Uh, please support our channel, subscribe that button, and you know what to do. Thumbs up for this video if you like it. Have a great day, guys. See you. Bye.